What's up everybody? It's Jared coming at you with another Fit Friday video. I'm super excited. We're gonna get right into it. Today we're gonna do a core exercise. Now the core is simply the muscles kind of surrounding your belly. We call those, those your abdominal muscles. Abdominal muscles right here. So we're gonna do a, be doing an ab workout, working on our core strength. And our core strength is really gonna help us out in every other exercise that we do. So it's important that we have a really strong core. And it's so important, we're taking an entire video just to focus on this one muscle group called your abdominal muscles, all right? So we're doing four exercises today to get engaged and to work out our abdominal muscles. The first one is going to be crunch. We're gonna do some crunches. Second one, we're gonna do our planks then mountain climbers, and lastly, we're gonna do some Russian twists. Okay, so I'm gonna explain each one of those four exercises real quick before we get into our workout, and then we'll go for it. All right, here we go. So first one is a crunch. So everybody, we're gonna get on the floor for this one. You can sit down, right? You're gonna make a little mountain with your knees, just kind of like this. So scoot your butt a little bit closer to your feet. And then you're actually gonna lay down on the ground for this one. So you can lay on the ground, and once you're on the ground, lay as flat as a pancake. You know, one of my favorite meals of all time is breakfast. So, you know, I, I speak a lot of times in breakfast food analogies. So here we go. So we lay as flat as a pancake, right? Now, once you're flat, you're gonna take your arms, you're gonna put it behind your head like this. Now, here's how I kind of like to think about it. You're starting out as flat as a pancake, but pancakes for breakfast, not the most healthy decision, right? You could probably make a healthier decision. And so, what I like to do is sometimes I substitute my pancakes. Rather than eating a pancake, I grab a banana. Now, a banana is kind of shaped like a little bit of a curve, right? And so that's kind of what we're gonna do with this exercise, is we're gonna go from a pancake and we're gonna bend and contract our abdominal muscles, muscles surrounding your belly. You're gonna contract and lift your shoulders off the ground and try to get as close as you can to the fronts of your legs. It's almost like you're bringing your shoulders up to your, the fronts of your legs, right? And in doing so, you go from as flat as a pancake to a curve like a banana. Does that make sense? Flat as a pancake, curved as a banana. So we're going pancake to banana, pancake to banana. All right, so that's our crunch exercises. We'll get into those a little bit more later. The next one, next exercise we have is a plank. Now this is what we call an isometric exercise, which means we're not contracting or extending any of our muscles. We're just holding it. We're holding a position for a, a period of time. And in holding that position, we're really building up strength in those core muscles. Okay, so we're gonna get on our knees for this one. And you can place your hands out in front of you Hands out in front of you, kind of right below your shoulders. And once your hands are out in front of you, you can extend your feet out behind you like this. And we're simply just gonna hold this position, just like this. This is called the plank position. And we're just gonna hold this position for 30 seconds when we go there. Now it's important that we keep our body really straight and focus. You're gonna, wanna, you're gonna wanna tighten those core muscles, those abdominal muscles, almost like somebody's gonna hit you in the stomach, right? You, you know, you tense up kind of right before somebody hits you. And then what also helps is if you if you squeeze the, squeeze the muscles in the back here. So kind of in your upper leg and even into your butt, like squeeze those muscles and then that will help keep your body straight. We don't wanna sag down like this, that's not what we're after. And we don't wanna make a mountain out of our body either like this. We wanna keep flat, almost like we're trying to balance maybe some books on their back, right? We're keeping that body flat. So that's our plank exercise. Now, here's a mountain climber exercise. Here's the good thing, it's really similar to a plank. We're just adding one little level of difficulty to it, okay? So we're gonna get back in that plank position. Remember straight, we're contracting those upper leg muscles here. And then once we're in our plank position, all we're gonna do is we're gonna bend our one of our knees and kind of bring it up here, almost like we're stepping on the ground here. And we bring it back, and then we bring our other leg up, and then our other leg back. Other leg up, other leg back. And it's kind of like we're climbing something, right? That's why we call it mountain climbers. So we're bending at the knee, and we're just touching our toe up, and bringing it back, and then touching our toe up, and bringing it back. Those are our mountain climbers. Okay, the last one we have is called a Russian twist. This is probably gonna be our hardest one to do for today, but I believe in you. You can do it, come on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit on our butt again, 
and we're going to get in kind of a zigzag position. It's kind of what I like to call this one, a zigzag position. Okay, so once we're on our butt, the, the goal is to kind of balance right here on your bum. Goal is to balance, right? So that means I have my heels off the ground in the front, and I have my back off the ground in the back. And if you look, I kind of make a little zigzag, right? Whoop, 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 a little zigzag with my body. Making a zigzag, so that's the zigzag position. So once we're in that position with our heels off the ground, we don't want our heels on the ground like this, and we don't want to be laying down on the ground like this. We want to be kind of balancing right on our butt like that, okay? The zigzag position, just like this. So once we're in that position, I'm gonna face the front now. Once we're in that position with our heels off the ground, we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna cross them, put them together in the front, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our hands to one side of our body and then to the other side of our body. And we're gonna do that a series of times, so it looks something like this. And you should feel a big stretch or maybe even like a little bit of a burning in, in those core muscles, in those belly muscles for you, okay? So that was it, the crunches, then we moved into our plank, the mountain climbers, and then the Russian twists. Are you guys ready to do it? All right, let's do it. So get in that position for the crunches here. We're starting at our pancake, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 reps of these in a row. So 10 crunches in a row, and then we're gonna do it two times. So we're gonna do a to total of 20, but we'll do it in sets of 10. So we're gonna do 10 crunches in a row, and then we'll take a little bit of a break, and then we'll do 10 crunches again. Okay, so let's start with our first one here. So everybody, pancake position, hands behind the head. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, one. Back down, two. Back down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. All right, good job, good job. Whew, way to go. I'm starting to feel on my stomach already here. So one thing to note here, I forgot to mention this earlier, but just to note is that we don't want to, when we're pulling our head forward, we don't want to put extra strain on our head by putting our chin to our chest. We want to keep our chin away from the chest. Our goal is not to crank our head back and forth, it's to keep the neck straight, okay? All right, so we'll take about 10 or 15 more seconds to rest and then we'll get into our second set, all right? You guys are doing great, come on. We're doing this together, it's Fit Friday, it's Special Olympics, let's go! We're in it, okay, all right everybody, ready? We're getting into that position, going from pancakes to bananas here, let's go, come on. Healthy lifestyle choices for the best meal of the day, breakfast time, come on. All right, pancake, are we ready? For three, two, one, one. Back down, two, back down, three, Four, five, pancake, banana, pancake, banana, pancake, banana. Here we go, this is eight, eight, nine, and ten. All right, wow, great job guys, good job, that was awesome. Okay, we'll take a little bit of a break here. In the meantime, maybe grab a drink, stay hydrated throughout this workout, shake it out if you need to shake it out a little bit. Stand up, shake it out. All right, here we go. The next thing we're getting into is our plank, okay? So we're gonna hold that plank position. We're gonna hold it for 30 seconds, and then we'll take a little bit of a break, and then we'll hold it for 30 more seconds after that, okay? It's gonna burn a little bit. Now, if you can't hold it for the full 30 seconds, that's okay. Go as long as you can without falling. And then, if you, if you do fall, try to get back into it before the 30 seconds is over, all right? Okay, here we go, I think we're ready. It's plank time, let's go, here we go. Hands below the shoulders, feet extended out, and we're gonna hold it, and I'm starting to count 30 seconds. Ready, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, halfway there, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, come on, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, oh, all right, good job, guys, that was awesome, way to go, way to hold it, 
And if you fell during that time, that's okay. Way to get back into it. Way to go as long as you can. That was awesome. Way to go. Try to go maybe longer this next set that we do, all right? This is so good. Remember our core muscles and why we're working on our core muscles is because our core really helps us do all of our other exercises even better and with more integrity. Okay, so that's good. Are we ready? Let's go ahead and hit round number two. I know this is a short break, but we're doing it. We're doing it quick. Here we go. Ready? Ready for 30 more seconds. Hands below the shoulders, feet extended out. Balance those books on, the, on your back. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, almost there, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. All right. Good job, y'all. There we go. Two exercises done. We're halfway through our workout. Here we go. We're ready. We're ready to go. Let's do it. The next one is our mountain climbers. Mountain climber exercises. Okay, here we go. Mountain climbers. Remember, we're going to stay in that plank position. And the only thing that's changing is we're bringing those the one leg at a time. We're bringing one leg at a time up, and we're touching our toe. We're getting it close, almost trying to touch your knee to your elbow right here. So I'm bringing my right knee up and I'm hitting my right elbow and then I bring it back. But don't hit it too hard or you're not trying to injure yourself, you're not trying to hit it. Just kind of touch, touch your right elbow with your right knee and then touch your left elbow. If you can't get your knee all the way up to your elbow, that's okay. Just bring it as close as you can. We're doing it. We're all at different points in our work and our fitness journey and that's totally okay. But the thing that we're working on is we're getting more and more fit, the more and more we do these things. And that's where we're at. We're all on a journey. It doesn't matter where you start at the journey, but it only matters that we're getting better. Let's do it together. All right, we're ready. Mountain climbers, we're in it. Let's go, guys. Here we go. So we got the hands underneath the shoulders here. Ready. And what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to do 15 with each leg, okay? So I'm going to bring, so I'm going to count to 30 in total, but we're hitting 15. We're bringing our leg forward. 15 side, 15 times with our right leg, 15 times with our left leg. I know it's a little bit confusing, but we're just gonna bring them up 15 times with each leg. I'm gonna count to 30 in total, and we'll take a break, and then we'll hit it one more time, all right? Let's do it together, here we go. All right, hands below the shoulders. Keep your back straight, you're balancing those bookcases on your back. Legs straight here. All right, here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right. Woo! Good job, guys. Now, if I'm going a little bit too fast, I'm going to have to stop. Okay? Let's do it again. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. If I'm going a little bit too fast, next time we're going to go a little bit slower, okay? We're going to go a little bit slower than that last time that we just did. But if I was going too fast for you that time, that's okay. Do as many as you can in that time frame that I counted there. And also, if you didn't quite make it all the way to 30, that's totally okay. You count the number that you did, were able to do and track that maybe for next time, right? And maybe the next Friday that we do something like this or the next time you do some mountain climbers, you're like, yo, I'm gonna beat that record, okay? Let's do it, okay. We're gonna take about 10 more seconds here. And then we're gonna get into our last set of mountain climbers. All right, let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, ready? Here we go, plank position again. Hands underneath the shoulders, back straight, and we're going mountain climbers. And we're gonna go slow mountain climbers this time, ready? Here we go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Halfway there. Come on, guys. Let's go. Keep pushing. Seventeen, eighteen. 
19, 20. Come on, 10 more. Let's go. 21. Come on, we can do it, guys. Keep pushing. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right, guys. Woo, I felt some burning on that one myself. That was a good workout for Jared over here. Okay, so, all right, guys, the last workout that we have for today, the last one that we have going on on this Fit Friday is our Russian twists. Russian twists, okay? So the, for the Russian twists, all we're gonna do is we're gonna count to, we're gonna only gonna do it one time. This is like our grand finale, and we're gonna count 25 on each side of doing this, okay? 25 on each side. Okay, so we're gonna do 25, grand finale. We're only doing it one time, and this is just the final last hurrah, the final push for our workout today on this Fit Friday. So you can do it, let's push hard, let's sprint toward the end, let's have a photo finish today, okay? All right, so if we, re we remember here, we're getting in that zigzag position. I wanna show it to you from the side here. Heels off the ground, and then our back is off the ground too. We're making that zigzag. Here we go, zigzag position. Right now I'm gonna face the front as I do it, okay? So now we're in our zigzag position. We're gonna have our hands clap together like this, and then we're gonna go to the right, one side of the body, and to the left side of the body, just like this, okay? All right, you guys ready? We're gonna count to 25. 25 twists, 25 on, on each side, okay? So this is gonna be, ready? One, two, does that make sense? Here we go, ready? 25, all together, photo finish, let's go. It's Fit Friday, come on, let's push, ready? All right, zigzag position, here we go. Ready, three, two, one, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, woo, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. All right, you guys. Woo! Wow. That was a good workout, y'all. I'm feeling it. I don't know about you. I'm feeling it for sure in my abdominal muscles and my core muscles here. Thank you so much for joining me on this Fit Friday. If you need to, shake it out a little bit. Do some stretches. You know, cool down a little bit. I wish I could cool down with y'all right now, but we're running out of time on this Fit Friday. But anyway, I'm Jerry. Thank you for joining me on this Fit Friday. We'll see you next time.